Welcome back to One Minute Monday. I hope you're all doing really well. This week we're looking at another predator landing net and this one comes from the guys over at Corum. Now there's actually three components to this landing net. Firstly you've got the snapper tilter landing net head and then you've got two different size snapper cult tele handles so we're going to look at them all individually and then look at them combined as one unit. It's done like this so you can really make this kit fit how you angle. So if you fish on rivers with really deep banks and loads of sedges and stuff you might want the longer handle whereas if you only fish on canals and small lakes and things you might only want the shorter handle. It will actually pick the right sort of kit for you. So firstly let's look at the handles. As I said there are two handles in the cult range, there's a 1.5 telly and a 2.5 telly as well so obviously a very very small pack down size but they extend out to quite a way. They also come with a little shoulder strap that straps onto the handle. Personally, I don't use this or I wouldn't use it. As I say, I prefer to tuck it into my waist belt or something like that. But that's an option for you as well, so you can sling it over your shoulder. First off, the little 1.5 meter handle. It's absolutely tiny, which is great for the pack down size. And when you're roaming around rivers and canals and stuff, it just suits that type of angling really well. At the top end, you've got a really hard sort of cork EVA knob that fits into the actual other sections to make it telescopic and then just slides out to 1.5 meters. Perfect length, as I said, for short work on your canals, um, easy to access rivers and small still waters and things like that. That's the 1.5 meter handle, as I say, with a little cork knob on the end. On this end, it's worth noting there is a metal end cap on there. So when you can pack the handle back down again, like that, it's not going to smash through the end. There's also this little hole in the end there that helps with the air escaping when you are compressing it down. If that hole wasn't there, you wouldn't be able to compress the actual handle back down again. So that's the 1.5. <clears> 2 <throat> 2.5 obviously does the same thing. It's just a little bit longer. So this is the 2.5. Again, you've got the hard cork knob on the end and then it extends all the way out to 2.5 meters, which is almost from me to the camera. So that's the 2.5 meter perfect as I said before for fishing over sedges if you've got to drop the net down on a high bank or something like that absolutely perfect for that all the other same features as the 1.5 handle. Moving on to the actual net head itself this is the tilter net head and I'll explain the name to you in a minute. It's a soft rubber mesh it's got a flotation ring all the way around the net head so if that's resting on the water it's going to float really nicely. The mesh at the bottom of the net mirrors the shape of the net as well so it's like a nice bowl design so if it is sat there there's plenty of space for the fish to move around in. You get a nice size pike in there, obviously chub, perch etc etc. Nice feature about this net comes in the name, the tilter. So the actual block that the handle fits to moves around and tilts in all manner of different angles and that's done for a few reasons which I'm going to show you now. So here we are then, I've got my 2.5 meter handle and I've got my tilter landing net head. Screws on in exactly the same way as every other landing net on the market. Just a simple screw thread. You could use this landing net head with every other handle on the market as well. You don't have to specifically use these if you don't want to. So it just screws on like so. Now when it gets to the tightening part, that's where the magic happens. So if you just tighten it up like that, that landing net there is then ready to use. You can extend it out as you wish and you can use a landing net to land your fish. Nice thing about this one is the speed and ease of the tilter system. So if you unscrew it back just a tiny bit, the whole net folds down like so. That's perfect then for transportation and storage. You can stick it in your waistband belt, in your rucksack strap, however you want to. And you can transport it round on your side or leave it on the floor, whatever you want to do with it. And then if you get a fish, you just have to flip it out couple of turns on there and it's ready to go. Another really nice feature of this specific net design is for the guys that are sort of vertical fishing off docks, off really high banks on canals or even in the sea, things like that. If you unscrew that just a tiny bit, you can then screw it in, as I said before, any angle you like. So you can screw that in almost vertical, making landing something below you a lot easier. You can drop that down the side of the canal wall and you can guide your fish into it and then you can lift it up. Really nice little feature if you fish on high banks and things you'll know that that is a really big edge for landing nets and you can change the angle to whatever increment you want. Same as if you've got the fish resting in the net just in the edge of the water 
you can tilt that handle so it lies perfectly on the bank and it's nice and stable for you, however you want to work it. So that there is the Snapper Tilter Landing Net and Cult Tele Handle Package. Altogether, a really good little system for the Predator Wranglers out there. Price-wise, the net head itself is $29.99. The shorter 1.5 meter handle is 29.99 and the bigger 2.5 meter handle is 34.99 so altogether 60 65 quid for an all-in-one landing net package for the predator fishermen out there as always if you want to see more about this product you can head over to our website in the link below or you can come in store and check it out for yourself as always that's it from me thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one